Hi everyone, this is Chi Wei from One Dog Wolf, and this video is to show you how to knit the garter tab. So the garter tab is the beginning of this triangle shawl. Um, it's probably the beginning to quite a lot of different triangle shawls because it gives you this triangle shape right at the beginning. And it's actually just this piece right here so that it gives you a base to start creating stitches along the, st the slant. Um, and then you can increase however you want in the middle. And then you have another slant and then it gives you this sort of garter, uh, garter stitch edge. Okay, let's get started. So first thing you do is start with a tail about six to nine inches long because you only need to cast on three stitches. You won't need a super long tail. And then you're going to fold it in half with the cut end closer to your thumb. Grab both strands of the yarn and then you're going to take your thumb and forefinger and split that loop in the middle. So this side is the cut yarn and then the other side is the active yarn. Then take your needle and put it right in the center between your thumb and forefinger and then make a loop. Okay, so we're going to do that one more time. And you're just going to put the needle right in the center and make a loop. And that's actually your first cast on stitch. From here, you can work um, the same as any long tail cast on. So you loop around the thumb loop around the forefinger and then through that hole at the thumb. That's your second cast on stitch. And then again, around and through the hole. And that is the third cast on stitch. That's how you do a simple cast on and it doesn't have a knot at the end that you would have if you had started with a slip knot. So I find this really useful. Now that we have our stitches cast on, we're going to work seven rows of knit stitches. Okay, now that you've completed your knit rows, the next step is to take your work and turn it 90 degrees clockwise. And you can see there's three ridges here. You're going to be picking up three stitches along this side. And then eventually you'll pick up three more stitches along this third side to create what will eventually become a triangle. Okay, so you take your left needle, and like I said, there's three ridges here, which makes it pretty easy to pick up your stitches. So you take your left needle and you pick up those stitches. And if you pick up, it doesn't really matter um, which stitches you actually decide to pick up. So I can pick up this one, or I can go ahead and pick up this one as well. You just want to make sure that the stitches that you pick up are evenly spaced. All right, so I've picked up three stitches. So I have three on my left and three on my right, and then I'm going to knit these three that I just picked up. Now I have six and I've worked through two sides. And then once again, I'm going to take my work and I'm going to turn it 90 degrees clockwise. And then I'm going to work three stitches along this side right here. Now this one is gonna be a little bit more difficult because there are no easy points where you can pick up the stitches. Um, what I find useful is to pull on the end yarn a little bit and that helps define the edge that I'm working on. So I know I need to pick up three stitches between the yarn end and the stitch that's on my needle. And because this one's a little bit more difficult, you might find it useful to pick up one stitch at a time. So pick it up, knit it, pick up the second, knit it, and then pick up the third. So you don't pick up all three at the same time like you did with the previous side. Okay, so here I'm going to pick up one stitch and then I'm going to knit. And I'm going to reset, hold on to my tail and see how far I have to go because I know my last stitch is going to be right there at the corner. So I'll pick up the second stitch and knit that one. And then again, hold on to my 
um, yarn tail so I know that that's the corner and I'm going to pick up this last stitch right here and then knit that one as well. Now that you have finished picking up stitches on the other two sides, you should now have nine stitches on your needle, three for each side. Uh, you started with three, you picked up three on one side, and then you picked up three on the other. And this is the garter tab that you can use to start a triangle shawl. Um, at this point, I'm going to work one more row or two and show you how the shape is going to turn out. Okay. So we're going to turn our work so that our yarn is um, right at the beginning of the row. And then we're going to knit the first three. We're going to yarn over, and that's going to be an increase and then knit the next one. Then we're going to increase again. So on every right side row, we're going to be increasing four times. Increase, and then these last three will be knitted because this is our straight edge. Right, that's our first right side row. And we'll turn it and we're going to knit this entire row across. And that completed our first wrong side row. Now, this doesn't look like much because everything is held on a straight needle, but I'm going to transfer this over to a flexible needle so you can see what it looks like when the top is curved instead of the bottom. So now we see that there's a straight edge at the bottom. Once you curve the top, you can see that there's a straight edge right here at the bottom. Before, when it was straight at the top, then the bottom was the one that curled. And it doesn't really look like it makes a lot of sense. But once you curl the top and you put these on two circular needles, now you can really see the shape um, of the triangle. Okay, so the first three stitches are going to be the garter edge, as well as the last three stitches right here and then the middle stitch will always be the center of your triangle and then you can see here we're going to be making increases along these three it used to be just one and now there's three and this is where we're going to be making increases for the body of the shawl and also I wanted to point out if you do it this way this was uh, the end of the wrong side row so your beginning tail is going to be on the left side of the center stitch and then when you start again when you turn to work your right side row again your beginning tail is going to be on the right side of the center stitch and that's an easy way for you to always know whether you should be increasing or working straight across and that's it that's how you knit the garter tab if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks so much for watching